Hey y'all! So today's video is going to be my June favorites. I'm going to kind of like get ahead of the end of June because I put my May favorites up at like, I don't know, I feel like it was like the middle of June. So we are on top of our game this month. So I don't have as many products as I did last time, which will make for a shorter video, which I know some people enjoy. So if you want to see what my favorites are for the month of June, then just keep watching. So I feel like I'm super summery, like my shirt is like super summery and then my face is really fall and winter. So I apologize for the like the mixed emotions, but I was just trying out some more of my ColourPop products. So this one, this lip I have not tried yet. So I just want to try it on and see what it looks like. So it's very, very pretty and super purpley. So definitely it doesn't go with the shirt. So just try not to mind that. <laughs> But because I mentioned ColourPop, I will talk about them first. Um, as y'all know, I did purchase a lot of ColourPop products. And if you haven't seen that video, I will link it down below. I purchased a lot, a lot of lip products. So these are just the ones that I have tried that I know I love. Um, the rest I know I will love too. I just haven't been able to wear them out yet. So I'll just name these all for you. Um, but again, I'll have that video linked down below in case you want to see swatches on every single one of these colors. So this one right here is an ultra satin lip and it's in the shade Little Stitches. Very, very, very pretty. The only thing I will say about the ultra satin lips is that they don't stay on as long as the matte ones, which is if that goes with any liquid lip or lipstick or anything like that. So it didn't come as a surprise, but just in case you didn't know that, I'm telling you now. <laughs> so if you purchase an ultra satin lip, you'll love it but just to make sure that you keep it with you after you apply it like I put this on and then put it in my purse and then once it started to come off I just put it on again and then it stayed on like it, it only came off when I ate so if you don't eat anything it shouldn't come off but yeah just keep it with you just in case so the next one is an ultra matte lip in the shade midi this one is by far my favorite out of all these that I've tried and Really, now that I think about it, it's my favorite matte lip out of all of my lipsticks and everything. This is like my favorite go-to matte nude lip. I just cannot say enough good things about this shade. It's so pretty and so matte and it stays on your lips for a very, very long time, even through eating and everything. So if you're going to purchase one nude from ColourPop, make sure it's midi. So the next one is my only lippy sticks that I got and it was in the shade or it is in the shade cami. This one is just like a really dark mm, I don't know like burgundy type it has some red in it. I'm really not good at <laughs> explaining colors so just look at it for yourself on my color pop video and you'll see but it's really really pretty. And then the next one I have is magic wand. This one is an ultra satin lip again very pretty and then these last three are all darker shades so this one is an ultra matte lip in the shade Tule, and that's what I have on my lips right now so it does look a little different in the tube than it does on the lips but I'm very fair well I've self tanned but my natural skin tone is very fair so if you're not as fair as me it might not turn out as dark but still really really pretty and the next shade is an ultra matte lip and it's in the shade solo this is more of a pink it's still really 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 pretty like the prettiest pink ever and then the last shade I tried out is this ultra satin lip in the shade freaking frag this is really pretty as well it's kind of more not as dark as this one it's kind of in the middle of I don't know, kind of in the middle of this one and then maybe solo, kind of like a pinkish. I'm really not good at explaining it. I'm so sorry. <laughs> All right, so the next few things I have are also from ColourPop, which I featured in that video, but it is the blush and the highlighter that I got from them. The blush is in the shade between the sheets and I actually had it on right now. I put a really light coat coat. I put a really light layer of it on my face today so it might not be able you might not be able to really see it but it is literally the prettiest blush ever and it's the softest softest texture ever of a blush so really really prettiest between the sheets. And then this highlighter is called Wisp. I had that on today too. Again I don't know if you can really tell I just put a little bit of it on. It's so, 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 so pretty and you can build it up and blend it out and it doesn't look too harsh, but you can make it look harsh if you want. So I really, really, really love this. And then again, the texture is just super fine and super, super, super soft. Okay. So moving on to, this is my last makeup product. So moving on, this is the Rimmel London Stay Matte 
powder, long lasting pressed powder. This is just in the shade translucent. I use this all the time to set my makeup. It's only a couple dollars, which is a win in my book. And I used to use this all the time a couple years ago, but I stopped using it because, I don't know, let's just be honest, I was a makeup fanatic and wanted to try everything in the drugstore. But I just recently went back to this and it is so pretty. And it's lightweight and you just, I just can't say enough good things about this. It's really, really pretty and if you haven't tried it already, you really need to. So the next thing I have is a skincare product and this is the Biore Free Your Pores. Is that even part of the name? <laughs> this is the Biore Deep Cleansing Pore Strips. So everyone knows what a pore strip is. You know, you just put it on your nose and then peel it off. It takes all the blackheads out. And I don't know about y'all, but I love, love, love peeling it off my nose, which that part hurts. But then seeing like all the little blackheads in there, I could just look at that for hours. If I had a microscope, I would so put that pore strip under the microscope and then look at it because I just, I don't know, it's like nasty, but it's so cool at the same time because it's like it just peeled it right off, you know? I don't know, it's weird. So I use this on my nose and then I also put one on my chin. So that's a little weird. I haven't seen anybody do that, but I get so many blackheads on my chin, like both these sides right here, these sides right here get like deep, deep, deep rooted ones. And then my middle part of my chin gets like the blackheads that you get like on your nose. So I just put it in the middle of my chin and then the ends of the strips land on like both of these sides and then you just rip it off and the blackheads come off of that too. If you have a problem with blackheads on your chin and you don't really know a way to get them off, then try that. It doesn't get all of them off, but it does help you a little bit. So yeah, these are just awesome. And the next thing I have is, I don't know, it's not really a skincare, I guess, it would, I guess you would consider it skincare. It's the High Time Bump Stopper 2 in double strength. It's a razor bump treatment. It just looks like this inside of the jar. And I got this from Walmart. I really don't know what, like how much it was, but I have a really, really hard time with razor bumps on my bikini line and then also under my arms, like really bad under my arms. And, but I also have like really thick, coarse hair. So it's always a constant battle to figure out like how I can get rid of the razor bumps and then also get a close shape. So. I picked this up and it has worked a little bit on me. Now I'm adding this to my favorites videos because I'm hoping that some of y'all, if you had that problem, that your razor bumps aren't that bad, but you do have some, you know what I mean? So this would definitely help you if you do have razor bumps, but they're not, they're not like super, super bad, you know? So this has helped me and I have noticed that my skin and where I shave, I can get like a... I can actually get a closer shave. Not as much bumps will show up afterwards. So it says to use this twice a day. I don't usually get around to doing it twice a day, but I do try to do this, put this on after every shave. So that really helps, I feel like. So my underarms are calming down, and then also my bikini line is calming down as well. So I don't know if it just takes a while to actually activate on your skin and work, but it is working slowly for my skin. But if you don't have as much razor bumps, but still have a little bit, then I feel like this would really, really, really help you out. So this is the High Time Bump Stopper 2. All right, so the last products... It's, I'm grouping these all together because I'm going to show you all together, but the last products I have are nail polishes. So the first nail polish I have is this China Glaze in Flip Flop, Flip Flop Fantasy. I'll kind of give you a close-up so you can kind of see the true color. It's like a super neon orangey pink. Really, 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 really pretty. The only thing I will say about this is that it is not opaque at all. So, in order for this to really get to the color that you want it to be, I, I have to put on at least three coats of this, which I do not like. I love when I can just put on one coat and be done, but this is such a pretty color that I will do that. So, just keep in mind that if you do like this color, it's not opaque and you will have to build it up, but it is still really, really pretty. So, these last colors I have are all from the same brand and it is from the brand Sinful Colors. Sorry if I keep looking back behind. I'm trying to see if I'm in focus. Um, but yeah, these are all from the brand Sinful Colors. Sinful Colors, if I can talk. 
I get mine at Walmart or Ingalls or Big Lots. They're really, really inexpensive. They're like $1.99 compared to the China Glaze, which is like, I don't know, 8 or 9 probably. And these are really, really pretty colors. I feel like these simple colors have so many colors to choose from. And they're all bright and very nice and I love them. I cannot say good thing, say enough good things about these simple colors nail polishes. So I actually have one shade on my nails right now. And it's this like blue shade and it is in the color Savage. And it's this shade right here. And I've had this on for going on three weeks and it has just now started to chip. So my secret to that is to use the Sally Hansen two times, I think it's like Sally Hansen two times the strength or something like that, the top coat for the gel nail polish that she has. And I just put that gel nail polish over the Simple Colors polish and it stays on so, so, so long. The only thing is that you kind of have to do, a, put a little bit more um, work into getting the nail polish off. But I'm good with that because then I know that it's staying on long. So don't think that you only have to use the Sally Hansen top coat, the gel top coat, just for the for her Sally Hansen actual gel nail polish. You can use it with whatever, and I found that it works just the same, if not even better. So again, these are simple colors. And then I'm going to go ahead and name you off all of these shades in case you like them. And this one is in the shade Summer. Summer is... Summer S Cool, really pretty blue. It's like more of a baby blue, and then this one's more of a darker blue. And then this one is in the shade Vacation Time. It's a darker nude, still really, really, really pretty. I love this one. And then this one is in the shade 24-7. It's a really bright, really bright. It's not coming off as bright on camera, but it's a super bright hot pink. I love this one. I've gotten so many compliments on this shade alone from friends and family. So if you're gonna, if you love pink, 24-7 is what you need. And then the last color I have is also a pink and it's in the shade VIP. It's not as bright as 24-7, even though it doesn't really look much different on camera, but I promise you it is. Go to the store and see. <laughs> But this VIP is actually infused with gel tech, or it says sinful shine with gel tech. So I assume it's kind of like a gel nail polish. And I haven't been able to find any more of these gel tech sinful colors. So if you know where they are, then definitely let me know because that would be awesome to have sinful colors gel nail polish. All right, so that was all my favorites for the month of June. I really hope you all enjoyed this. If you have any more video requests, as always, let me know down below. Um, I'm planning some really cool videos for y'all and yeah, just stick around with me. Keep subscribing and keep liking my videos and I hope y'all are having a good day or weekend or whenever you're watching this and I will see y'all in my next video. Bye y'all.